I got interested in anthropology uh, in my undergraduate days. I was a, um, I did a BA in anthropology at Cal State uh, Long Beach, and um, I just fell in love with with the ancient cultures of, of Mexico and Central America, predominantly the the Aztec, the Maya, and the earliest civilization, the Olmec, um, and um, just have really devoted the last 25, 30 years of, of, of my of my life uh, to uh, to doing research and studying and teaching about uh, about the Maya and the uh, and the Aztec and the Olmec societies. And so that's why I really enjoy this class uh, because um, I can talk about what I what I love and all the the great hands-on you know, things that I've done in the field. Well, the great thing is is that when I'm teaching a class like the ancient Maya, that is where I do the, my field research, and so I can bring in. Um, you know, specific examples, research findings, um, you know, artifacts and things like that into the into the classroom setting, um, and, uh, and and describe in depth, uh, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of information um, about these past civilizations. You know, online teaching is uh, is is different, you know, than face to face, of course, but um, but I've been able to I think, incorporate uh, a lot of the the same uh, kind of classroom dynamics uh, into the online uh, environment. You know, doing the video lectures, um, you know, going doing uh, discussion boards, question and answer sessions, um, and and I have um, developed a number of these um, uh, exercises uh, that the students actually are using uh, real uh, archaeological data from excavations, from survey work, uh, in completing different projects and things like that. So um, there's all sorts of, of of neat things that you can do in that online environment that you know sometimes you really can't do as much in the uh, in, in the face to face.